good morning students hope you all are fine so in the last class we did the first three paragraphs of adventures of a nepali frog so turn to page 65 so in the previous class we got to know that bhakta prasad a young nepali frog lived with his family in a rice terrace by the village of Ishangu and he was more curious than his brothers and sisters. So one day he had a sudden urge to travel beyond the muddy paddies where his family lived and go down the hill where humans tread or walk. He was because uh, why did he want to uh, go from uh, the his birthplace to a different place to the, to the city life why did he want to go because he wanted to have an adventure he wanted to experience life beyond the muddy paddies so he was not very happy remaining confined within the muddy fields so one day he came down the hill and there he saw men, women and children moving from one place to another with an intention. So till there we did in the last class, right? Now the next paragraph, that means the fourth paragraph. So the paragraph says, Well, I will have an intention, young Bhakta Prasad decided one morning in early summer. And so, while he waited for his tail to disappear, he hung around the Chotara by the trail where people stopped to exchange gossip. From their conversation, he formed a picture of the world that lay beyond the safe paddies where his frog clan had lived for as long as anybody could remember. So, here we come to know that he also wanted to have an in intention like all people do and waited for his tail to disappear. Tail means the tadpole tail. Okay. He waited around the chotara. Chotara means a resting place as the meaning is given below. Chotara means a resting place like we see in the bus stops in the footpath where there is a place to sit. A long chair you can see right where people sit for their bus to come. So as he waited there, he heard people gossiping. And from their gossip, he could make up a broader picture of the world. Now, next paragraph. It was evening and Bhakta Prasad was gazing down upon Kathmandu Valley as the sun's slanting rays lit its fields of greening paddy. Beyond, he saw the shingle-roofed houses, pagoda temple tops, and the tall palace buildings. So, it was evening and Bhakta Prasad was looking constantly. You underline the word gazing and write the meaning above. To T-O-2 to look L double O K look constantly. C O N S T A N T L Y to look constantly. So it was evening and Bhakta Prasad was looking constantly upon the Kathmandu Valley and he was dazed or he was amazed by the view of the setting sun. So what else he saw? Look at your book and answer. He saw the typical shingle roofed houses, pagoda temple tops and tall palace buildings. Okay, now next paragraph. All the frogs of Ichangu knew this was the city though none of them understood what the word meant. At the Chotara, Bhakta Prasad had heard of motor cars, street lights, and gigantic buildings with hundreds of rooms. So, 
he thought to himself that no frog of Ichangu had the chance of experiencing this beauty of the city. So, resting at the Chotara, he heard sounds of, he also heard sounds of motor cars, street lights and, sorry, sorry, not sounds, he also could experience the sounds of motor cars, he also could see street lights and also saw gigantic buildings with hundreds of rooms. Now, next paragraph. This evening that the last bit of his tail disappeared, Bhakta Prasad announced his intention to leave home. But why? The entire clan croaked together in surprise, not believing that anyone would want to leave the Ichango rice paddy. Tailless Bhakta Prasad replied with some confidence, I want to experience life beyond this field. I want to see the city where the people live. I want to go to the Tarai which is so flat that you can hop forever without feeling tired and where they say the sun sets on the horizon rather than on hillsides. I want to see white rivers, strange creatures, vast plains and great mountains. So this was so this was evening and his tail disappeared and he was now completely out of his tadpole stage. So as his tail disappeared he felt very free and independent and told about his intention to his family. What was his intention? Can you think? His intention was to leave home, right? Because he wanted to be out of the muddy paddy and experience life, experience the city life. So that was his intention to leave his home. So he told them, so he told his family members about his intention and everyone was in utter shock hearing that. They questioned him why he wanted to leave his beautiful safe rice paddy. Then what he answered them, he answered confidently that he wanted to experience life beyond this field and see how the city life looks like. He also continued saying that uh, he wants to go to the lowland areas where he can hop without feeling tired or he can hop continuously without feeling tired and also enjoy the view of the sunset which he failed to enjoy living in the valley. Now, next paragraph. Buddhi Prasad, the elderly head of the clan, was the only one who stood Bhakta, who understood Bhakta Prasad's wish. Years ago, he too had wanted to seek adventure in the world, but he had done nothing about it. He did not want his grand frog Bhakta Prasad to make the same mistake. Besides, thought Buddhi Prasad looking at Bhakta Prasad with admiration, this young frog is younger and braver than I was. Bhakta Prasad has made up his mind and nothing will stop him. So, here we come to know that Buddhi Prasad, that means Bhakta Prasad's grandfather, was the only person to stand by his side. Buddha Prasad said that once upon a time when he was young, he too had the wish to adventure the world, but he failed to make it successful. He failed to make his wish successful, which he repents till now, okay, which he repents till today. So Buddha Prasad said that he did not want his grand frog Bhakta Prasad to commit the same mistake. Instead, Buddhi Prasad encouraged Bhakta Prasad that he is by saying that he is braver and stronger than Buddhi Prasad himself was during his young age. And um, 
बुद्धि प्रसाद आस्क हिम टू गो अहेड ऑन हिज जर्नी टू एडवेंचर द सिटी लाइफ सो बुद्धि प्रसाद वॉज द ओनली पर्सन हु स्टूड बाय भक्त प्रसाद एंड आस्क हिम टू मेक हिज विश अ सक्सेसफुल नाउ नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ टर्निंग टू द सर्कल ऑफ वर्ड फ्रॉक्स बुद्धि प्रसाद सेड वी मस्ट लेट हिम गो he will see the world and he will return to us to tell us all about his adventures here buddhi prasad begged to the other family members to let bhakta prasad go on his adventure and gather as much experiences as possible and he also told the and buddhi prasad also told the other members that when he will return from his from his adventure he will bring back with him lot of experiences which he will tell us as stories now next paragraph so bhakta prasad took the blessings of his elders the good wishes of his frog clan and before his mother had time to argue with her father he croaked the quick farewell and bounded down the trail used by humans to go to the city now you underline the word bounded and write the meaning above bounded means a walk or run walk or run so this paragraph says Bhakta Prasad took blessings of his elders and good wishes of his brothers and sisters and bid a quick farewell to all of them before his mother could start an argument with his father argument regarding what argument regarding Bhakta Prasad going on an adventure now next next line thank you hajurba he shouted over his shoulder addressing his grandfather so while starting his journey he thanked his grandfather by saying thank you hajurba for standing by his side next paragraph the young frog did not look back till he arrived at the bottom of the slope and the strip of the t- of tarmac he knew was ring road which circled kathmandu town taking one last look up at the terraces of ichangu he turned and continued his hopping so as he started his journey he did not look back till he reached the bottom of the slope so as he reached the lowland area he took a last look up, up the valley of ichangu and continued and again turned and turned to his side and continued his hopping he gave a last look to the valley and then again he started on his journey he again continued hopping so i think you are done till here i shall stop here for today we shall uh, do the remaining paragraphs in the next class catch you then catch you in the next class till then take care bye